down here, we've got two further stations, one each side, a good distance apart. We've got it arranged so that there are a number of prayer stations all around the church, and there will be no more than one person at each prayer station at any given time, so people will be well distanced from each other. Just one way St Anne's Church in Easton is preparing separate places to pray, regular deep cleans and a one-way system to ensure social distancing measures can be followed when members are allowed to return. We're finally able at least to open the church for a little bit. We're still not able to have services, but at least it's one step on the way. Oh, we've missed it a lot. Being together is so important and also the physical thing. That's another thing which, which we really miss and which will be wonderful to come back to. Eventually. Like so much over the past few months, many religious celebrations have been cancelled. The Grand Iftar in Bristol usually sees thousands taking part to mark the end of Ramadan. This year, though, one of the organisers, Tassine, took to her kitchen and delivered food parcels to her neighbours. I, I still feel that at least, you know, by, by doing this, I'm connecting to them. Just one of the ways members have adapted to lockdown rules. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Another for this mosque has been to move congregations and the call to prayer online so people can pray in their homes, something Arif says will continue here even after restrictions are eased on Monday. We will not be opening for individual prayers because in reality it's the congregational prayers in the mosque that are performed. We're hopeful for the 4th of July so that we're well prepared, things might get better, the two metres distance might be reduced to one metre and if that, that is the case then we might be able to ac accommodate more in numbers. So while all places of worship will be allowed to reopen on Monday, it's up to community leaders to decide. For this church, though, it'll be the first time any of these have been filled in months, coming together at a safe distance. Sangeeta Lal, ITV News.